Not bad, huh? Man. Hey, here we are in my backyard and this is the scene of the crime. I wanna show you something. I wanna show you exactly what it looks like, the improvements that you can make over a year's time if you do what I do or what I, what I actually make my kids do. Now, a, a lot of times teachers or, or mentors or people in my position, um, they talk about this stuff quite a bit. You know, they teach you stuff. But this is not a theory to me. Making dreams come true, being the best in the world at a thing, that, those aren't theories to me. This is in my real life. That's why I bring you to my home and I show you what my kids are doing and how we live our life. Okay, so let's get started. I want you to watch this one thing. It's a year ago in this backyard, and it was almost a year to the day, um, me and Axel started doing some uh, dribbling drills, some ball handling drills of basketball. We call it the Dirty Dozen. So there's 12 drills that we do every day out here in the backyard. And we started this last summer. So now a year later, and, and, and just so you know, I would video Axel uh, off my phone, you know, when he was doing his drills. And now it's a year later, a ne the next summer. So he was seven, now he's eight. I filmed him again one year later exactly to the day so that he could see his progress because to him, it, it feels like he hasn't making any progress. In fact, he feels like he's struggling or like he's getting worse. So I want you to watch something now. You're gonna watch Axel one year ago do a dribbling drill, which is one of the dirty dozen. And I want you to watch how he dribbles the ball. He's pretty good, right? He's still, he's pretty good last year. But watch how he kind of is slapping at the ball and he keeps his head down on the ball. So he's watching the ball the whole time. So you'll see his head down like this the whole time watching the ball, which is not a good thing. You don't want to do that. And then in a couple of minutes after that, I'll show you a video of him uh, just a couple of days ago and you could see him a year later, right? I'm showing you this because I want you to apply this to your own life. Because you don't, you, all you feel is struggle. You don't see the improvement. So if you want to be, like say you want to be a great speaker, or you, you know, you, whatever you want to be, we can make it come true, but you just have to do these dirty dozen, the equivalent thereof, daily. Okay? It's pretty simple. Okay? Let's watch the first video. Watch Axel's head down and watch him kind of smacking at the ball. Okay? Let's watch it. Good, Axel. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Okay, we're back. Not bad, right? Axel, not bad. You can see how his head's down, you see how he's slapping at the ball, but I want you to have distinctions. I want you to see how subtle it is a year later, right? I want you to notice, we're, we'll roll the video in a second. I want you to notice his, kind of his demeanor, the composition of his body, the confidence that is in his body, being that he's done this dirty dozen over and over again for a whole year, okay? Let's take a look at that video now. Sweet, Axel. Go down on your knee. <laughs> One year later, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. You notice the difference in his body language, in his demeanor, on his, his maturity. So think of this dirty dozen, the equivalent thereof to you and your speaking career, your stage presence. So his stage presence at first, right, is his head's down, he's, he's, he's trying to make his way through, he's working his ass off just like you might do or I might do on stage. And then you train, and you train, and you train 
every day for a whole year and you see the difference in your body language because now you can handle yourself. Now you're doing the same exact drill you did a year ago, but you have this presence and you look better and you're attractive and you're magnetic. Same thing is true for you. The problem with you and me most of the time is we're not doing the dirty dozen daily. So you have to find what that is. If that's your voice, if that's your movement, if that's your writing, if that's your stage presence, if that's your, you know, you just getting on stage more and more and more. Now, I want you to think back to that video of Axel. So he's seven in the first one, right? He's eight in the second one. I want you to think, I want you to project out Axel 10 years from today, 11 years from today. 11 years from today, he's going to be what, 19, right? 19 years old. He's going to be a freshman in college. He's going to be really hard to stop at that point because when you do the dirty dozen, they are the equivalent thereof for you, you don't just get better incrementally. You don't get like, hey, I'm a year better, hey, I'm a year better, a year better. No, no, it's like compounded interest. You get better and then you surpass everybody. And then by the time you're 12 years old, nobody can catch you. Well, the same is true for me. I'm 54 years old. But if I outwork everybody this week, this year, with that dirty dozen of me being a speaker or a trainer, then no one's gonna really be able to catch me. And the same is true for you. I want you to have, we don't just dream, we make these dreams come alive by actually showing up day in and day out. And now think of your life and your career 10 years into the future. So far ahead of the competition that no one really wants to compete with you because they can't they can't catch you because they're not willing to show up and do the dirty dozen. So get out there, do it, do it every day, and, and you, you, it'll be unrecognizable to you who you become. But everyone around you will recognize it just like you did in the two videos that I just showed you. All right? So get out there and do it.